it's Allie, and welcome to Good vs. Evil Week of AGPC. Once again, there are no guest judges this week, so it's just Andrea, Becca, and I. And I'm going to just get this started. So before I actually get into the photos, I have a few little notes. So because in Australia there's crazy wildfires right now, Pepper and Salt AG had to drop out of the competition because you don't really want to go outside because the smoke is really bad. So I'm praying that she stays safe and all the koalas stay safe. Blue Moon AG was busy this week and was unable to submit a photo, and Scraps of the Sky, I'm not sure if they're still in the competition, because they thought they were out, but then they weren't out because we don't have eliminations, so I'm not sure if they're going to continue submitting photos or not. So let's get into the photos. First photo is from Project AG Runway. This photo is really pretty and I love the recreation. The lighting and the shadows are perfect. My one critique would be to maybe add a window or something in that little white section next to the curtain just to add a bit more visual interest. Project AG Runway, I really really love this photo. Uh, the lighting is really cool. Uh, the only thing I would say is the white area on the right is just a little distracting. Um, I think it does give off a nice light, but it kind of, like, I don't know. It's just so bright compared to the rest of the photo that it throws me off. The next photo is from the AG Studios 380. It's a classic angel and devil on your shoulder concept and I really like the ombre on her face, how it kind of leans to the devil side and then the cooler side for the angel. I wish that the mini dolls had more angel and devil outfits so you could just take a scrap of fabric and wrap it around them and it was a more complex background. It's just a really good concept but a bit too simple in execution for me. On the AG Studios 380, I love the idea. Their hair is <laughs> distracting for me, I know that can be hard but Maybe you could have like put some water on it to calm it down a little bit. Uh, and I also think Sage and Caroline should have been switched because their hair colors are like light and dark. And I think the light should have been uh, the angel and, but yeah, Caroline should have been the angel and Sage should have been the devil. Um, especially if you don't have like outfits that go with it, I think that would have helped it a little bit. I would either go with a really complex background or completely white or a complete other color because this wall it just feels a little random the effect on her face is so cool the next one is from dreamful dollies once again a sleeping beauty recreation i wish that the doll was more in frame since this is a doll photography competition and not really a baby doll photography competition. The fire does look very fake, so I feel like, especially with the fire in the foreground, if you did a motion blur, it would help make it a bit more realistic looking. I really love the light that is shining directly on the baby though. Um, Dreamful dollies. I think it is a little hard to tell what the horn in the front is. Like, if I didn't know the story very well, I'm not sure I would have been able to tell what this was but with like the green fire and like the horn, like obviously I know what it is, but um, I think it's just like a little bit hard to tell. But I also really like the angle that this was taken at and I think it gives like a really good looming presence. For the fire, I would add a motion blur just so it looks like it's in motion as the name implies. I don't know if the fire in the front was very necessary. Next up is All Dolled Up. I love all the detail in this. I just have a few little critiques. So the doll with the brown hair at the front, her hand is covering her face and I do dance and you're taught never to do that because it obstructs the view from the audience so if you put her other hand up it would look a lot better you have a redhead doll in the back who i think is ron ron is a bit more blurred than the other things in the same depth of field so i feel like if you could make it all an equal blur it would look a lot better great job though all dolled up um i love all the details um in the shelves in the background and how accurate everything is uh i think the Positioning is a bit awkward, but that's because you have so many in the frame, so I know that can be pretty tough. The wands, um, spells, they look very much like flares that you get on Pixar, so maybe you could have found like a different app where you could have edited the spells to look more realistic because 
yeah, they really just look like flares to me. I think you did a really great job and I love how much detail you put into this. The only critiques I have are these parts with the gray and the blue on the jacket especially. I don't know if that was intentional, but it, it looks like a mistake. But overall, this is amazing. Next up is Glass Handed Dolls. So I think you were at a little bit of a disadvantage this week because none of us are familiar with this series. So even though it is good versus evil, and I can kind of tell that in the stereotypes, it doesn't really scream it as much as some of the other photos. It's just a little bit plain and boring for me. So yeah, sorry. I do feel a lot more could have been done with this photo, but their outfits are really cute. This is very picky, but the flower, it's like the most pop of color this photo has. So I would maybe change the red to the color of the dress in editing, just because it shouldn't be the main focus. Next up is AG Spirit Studios, and I love the contrast so much between good and evil. It's so obvious and such a classic concept. So the seam at the top of the dress is at different heights, which bugs me a little bit. So I would have just taken one dress and color changed half of it, add a bit more fire on the devil side at the top. Overall though, great photo and I really love it. Age of Spirit Studios, uh, I think you could blur the fire more in the foreground and also add clouds in the foreground on the right side to like mirror what's happening on the left. And I also think the, the wing, the tinted red wing, looks a little bit weird because I know you like tinted it to be red but it ends up looking pink and I'm not sure it really goes overall. Sorry if I'm getting a little repetitive but I feel like the only critique I have is the lighting should be a bit cooler so that she's not as yellowish. So now we're gonna get into the rankings and I'm just going to read them because there's only six photos this week. So first place with a 9.6 is Project AG Runway. Then we have All Dolled Up with a 9.3, AG Spirit Studios with an 8, The AG Studios 380 with a 6.6, .6, Dreamful Dollies with a 6.3, and Glass Handed Dolls with a 5. So good job, everybody. So next week's theme, as you already know, is monochromatic. So a photo with one main color with many shades in the photo. And if you guys need inspiration, check out the Lover Music video by Taylor Swift, since each room and outfit is monochromatic. So you guys already know when it's due in the chat, and I will hopefully get AGPC up again next week and back on schedule, but it's kind of midterm week this week, and I'm a bit stressed out. Anyways, have a great day, and I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Bye! <laughs>